Hey guys, today we're going to be uh, playing with uh, 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid uh, battery. Let's try this. Let's see what we can do. It's a Camry Hybrid 2007 and I've already pulled out the, the battery pack from behind the seat here. It usually sits right there. It was pretty easy to remove. I'm actually going to record how I put it back in. But for now, here we go. So this is our battery pack and I already removed the cover and uh, that's what it looks like here okay so now we're gonna uh, start removing the wires and uh, just kind of go step by step on this thing let's go we're gonna grab some tools and so it looks like we're only gonna need a uh, uh, 10 millimeter socket and uh, 12 millimeter socket. Put them here, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna start taking things apart. Looks like there's a charging port here for the batteries. might want to have a magnet here with you so that if you lose a piece of tool or a bolt, you can uh, always retrieve it. Let's see what we've done so far. We've removed a couple of bolts around uh, the perimeter here of this thing. I am going to have to put all these clips off. I might still have to remove everything. I don't know. We'll see. That's what it looks like on this side. It would be nice to have a clip tool, but I don't have one here anymore. So I'm just going to play with it by ear. Okay. Here we go. So now, I think I'm gonna be removing all this electrical stuff out of the way. Some of these, looks like fuse boxes, whatever that is. I'm gonna remove it all, just to make sure it's nice and clean here. I'm gonna grab some tool clippers uh, my grandma's used to use, and cut that zip tie so that way we can get that separated and clean that up the side. I'm not a professional video recorder, but whatever this thing is, I took it off. We'll figure this out a little bit later what it is. Okay, there's a ground wire on the back side here I'm gonna also remove. Whatever I can, like on ground wires, make sure it's not a, a different nut. I like to uh, um, put it back on so that way it's there if I ever need to make sure it's the same one. It's actually going to be fun putting it back together uh, three weeks later because I'm going on vacation and I will not be back for a while. But it's all right. We'll get it figured out. Let me watch my own video here. I think we got everything else removed here. Let me just make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So there it is. Got everything removed. Now we're trying to take this cover off here uh, to get to the actual batteries. And I heard that these were supposed to be like uh, 7.6 volt batteries. We will figure it out. Here we go. Not bad. Came out just fine. Okay. There we have it, my friends. Let's start getting this thing out of the way. So same thing on this. I'm just going to press on these little tabs. 
get it to push in. Grab the seven just in case to make sure. Maybe, 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 maybe this is a seven. Nope, it's not. I should go with my instincts from my previous life when I was working on cars for when I was young. Okay, there's my charging wires. Let's see, all of this is disconnected. Cover is loose. Okay, I'm gonna get to the back side here. Let me show you the back side. Okay, so I got everything kind of loose. So now it looks like these 12 or 13 millimeter sockets that need to, uh, you know, these bolts that need to be removed. And I really think I'm close. So let's get that dialed in. Actually, maybe I'll put the camera here. Let's go right here. All right, let's see if this thing's gonna start popping off. Make sure nothing's in the way. Make sure nothing is in the way. Okay. Ta da! The cover is coming off. Okay, I'm just going to show you where I'm at here. Bring the camera back down. Okay. So, uh, the code that I was getting on this, uh, uh, on the car, was block six and eight was no good. So here is all of our batteries. There's your negative, there's the positive. Negative, positive, and it goes all the way across. And that's where you get your hybrid juice. You know, I'm not gonna um, lie, but I don't know where this starts, where it ends. So I'm just gonna say, we're gonna start on this side here. It just kind of makes more sense because this is the farthest from all the power. So this is going to be my block one through, I believe, 34. No, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. Yeah, there's 34 batteries. So, I found some batteries on eBay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tear this thing apart. Um, and I'm just going to have you watch me do it. And I'll speed it up. And if you guys need any more information later on, I can uh, share some of the normal speed video. But I'm going to speed this up so that way you don't have to sit there, listen to my music, and uh, listen to me breathe heavy okay okay first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these uh, plastic covers and these are just little clips you just got to pry them open a little bit and they come off pretty simple pretty easy boom there you go Oh, that must be the high as I can go on the camera. Okay, so they're slightly corroded. You can see a little bit of corrosion right there, some dust. I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up. Make sure that they're nice and clean when they're gonna go back in. Okay, so if I was to charge the battery from this, it looks like the connection comes on this side comes over to the middle batteries and what does it do? Yeah, so it basically charges the first two here and they're interconnected. Let me grab the camera so I can show you where I'm at. Let's go. Okay, so right here that's the wiring harness that comes out. You know, this is like a separate charging port and if you wanted to charge your battery separately 
you would do it through that and it comes to these sets of batteries and then it looks like it gets distributed because the, these two batteries are connected these two are connected and then so it looks like all these batteries are you know paired up and now let's look at this side what does it do so now on this side here let's bring the camera up a little <clears throat> so on this side it is looks like positive here they're interconnected here but this last one is not <clears throat> okay so yeah what it does is here is my negative this is the positive cord positive goes okay so this is the positive cord right here and then the big cord that we were talking about being negative it is the negative and goes to the back side so yeah so basically it's 7.6 volts going across the whole thing so we'll do some math and get that figured out so it looks like there's some wiring here for it could be like heat tracing or i don't know but i'm going to go ahead and carefully remove those two wires and take the clips off the side just for whatever purpose so all these look like they're eight millimeter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zip all those off to see how much how many bolts I can get out of this thing. Just for a question here. So there's my positive, positive, and negative are connected here. So I'm just gonna go across the battery. So go to positive on this side. Uh, make sure I'm touching the positive here And I'm gonna go to the left side here 7.7 .7 volts and This is negative Yeah, this is 7.7 .7. Actually, I don't even need to zip anything off right now because It's gonna give me the bank really 7.6 Oops, 6.3 right here. 6.3. I'm going to go ahead and grab a mark right here and just mark that one real quick. Uh, let's confirm it's that one. 7.6. Okay. Yeah. This one here. Okay. Basically, what we're coming up with, everybody's at 7.6 except for this one battery. This one cell here, 6.3 still. So okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a uh, uh, little nylon brush and uh, get, this, get these terminals cleaned up a little bit. Let's see, there's some good light right there. See the dust right there uh, on this one right here? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all that dusted off as you can see all the way through They have some dust on them some corrosion it looks like or something But I will get that cleaned off just to make sure it's not there and then I will uh, continue breaking these up So I'm gonna take a nylon brush here like I said and just kind of go through and uh, get everything cleaned up to make sure there's no loose corrosion here I'm just gonna get behind the thermals when I'm done I'm gonna use some compressed air to get it boiled down just place it right here and let's go Corrosion on the on the one side. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera here, 
but there is a little bit of corrosion right there on the green one. But I'll clean all that up just to make sure we have it all prepared for putting back together. So let's take a look at this one. I'm actually going to shine some light on it. Some light on this guy so you can see it very well. So it does have a little bit of corrosion on the tippies there where the contact is. I'll just clean those up a little bit. Put it back together. All right, so the display there. I think you guys can see this just fine. So I'm just going to start with uh, each one of these here. And like I said, the red and the po and the, uh, the black, negative and positive, I'm just going to start with the first battery I got here. The first one is positive on this side, negative on that side. So I'll just use the, that methodology. And um, we'll just keep on switching as we, we're not going to switch as we go, we're just going to go continuing. So this is 7.88, good. 7 7.7.5 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.8 7.
and uh, once I do that I will definitely come back and uh, be showing you all this so now let's go and get this uh, thing set up here so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it boom let's drag this guy down a little bit I believe you guys can see the numbers okay so I'm gonna have my wife help me out here and uh, write the numbers down and like I said I don't care if it's positive or negative I'm just gonna go to volts so number one we're gonna go for it says uh, let, let's go double digits let's go here this is before any load test here we go 7.88 Okay, so we figured out a way how we're going to do this load test. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Let's uh, connect. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Careful. It just, it just went me. Okay. Ready? So now, hold on. Don't, don't do it yet. Let's see. This is a uh, battery tester, and it says that it's sitting at around uh, 8 volts or something Almost like 8. That. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, uh, we'll, you know, I'll tell you when to press. Okay. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do about 20 seconds. you got to calculate uh, the phone. Calculator. Phone. <laughs> we need like 20 seconds. Uh, what's going to be easier? Yeah, 50. Let's go 15 seconds. So we're going to put a load test on this for like 15 seconds on each one of the batteries, and uh, do a load test. Uh, do the voltage test after we are done with uh, this load test. What do you think? 15 or 20 seconds? 20 seconds. Oh. Whatever you say. So 20, 40, 60. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I'm going to put the camera right here so I can kind of see what we're doing. Okay, how many seconds? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So Ready? start start the timer. Ready? Yeah, start the timer and let's go for Three, 20 seconds. Two, one. Uh, I think it's that one. Okay, so we're, we got... You tell us when, we, when to stop. Let me see. Twenty seconds. Yep. Done. Okay. Good. Release. Let's jump over to the next one. The next negative. Next negative. Next positive. Let's do another twenty seconds. And go. Okay, so we're starting back right after we've done a load test on, uh, uh, you know, all the way through, and then it came back. So I think to make it fair for every battery, we started on positive on this side. So let's go two, four, six, eight, because they need to, uh, they need all time to recoup. So we're gonna start here. Okay, we're going to number two. Number two, okay, 7.69. Okay, so we got the spreadsheet going here. I'll just kind of show you guys where we're at. So I did all the batteries here. Let me focus the camera right here and let's go up. So by cell number, uh, I just want to make sure you see the whole thing. Good. Okay. Hopefully that's good for you. So now, um, what I did was uh, up here, I did uh, cell B minus cell uh, C. Okay. So that's going to be my difference. And I divide the difference uh, by the uh, existing number to get the percentage. So right now that what we're losing is uh, looks like 2.2 percent, and let's look at the percentage. Let's uh, see who's losing the most. So uh, the least is losing at number 34. 
Hold on, let me get the camera a little more stable. Okay, so number 34 is losing the least. 32, uh, 31, and it goes up from there. But, you know, what we're doing is we're averaging. Let's average these guys out. Let's see what that uh, gives us for an average loss. Overall, I don't know if you see this right here, but averages at 2.2% average on the 32 34 batteries so um you know i think that's fine to lose that because we did put them through a uh, difficult test so let's go back up here and uh filter it by um the voltage voltage and let's go uh smallest to largest so number 22 number 22 is the one that is the lowest on voltage. The batteries are supposed to be 7.6 volts. So um, I'll show it to you on my other screen whenever I go to look for new batteries. But it looks like uh, 22 is the only one that's below 7.6. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and replace number 22 and see what happens. See if the check engine and all those lights go away. But the, the interesting thing is, even though it's a bad battery, you know, on voltage wise, it uh, dropped 2.5% as well. So I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, so uh, what we've done is uh, all of our tests. Now I'm going to take this thing apart and uh, take this number 22 cell um, and number them all. And this one here, that's the one I'm going to go ahead and take out. So that's the only one that's bad, it seems like. So we got a couple of bolts here that looks like they hold uh, the batteries together. I'm going to loosen those things up or remove them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Just watch me. I'll figure it out. And same thing on this end. And um, I'm actually not going to remove any of these vent tubes because I don't see a reason why except for on that 22 cell battery. And so underneath there you can see that there's some wires. I'm gonna make sure that I don't uh, disturb those wires whatsoever. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosen up these bolts here on the bottom. I'm not gonna take them completely out just so that we don't drop the whole thing. And uh, we'll just go from there. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Okay, right over here, these bolts right here, that's what's holding those batteries in place. And that's a fun part. I didn't think of that. But now I'm going to go ahead and mark these uh, batteries uh, down to the bolt I need to remove and I will remove that number 22, okay? So give me a few moments here. Let's go ahead and bring the camera back down so you can see what I'm uh, doing here. Okay. I hope you can see where I'm at. Yeah, I probably went down a little too far. Here we go. So now I'm gonna identify that uh, number 22 that I was working on. My 22 is no good, so it's right across from the bolt down below. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And on this side, it's going to be down here, 22. It's going to be right at this bolt here. So I'm just going to flip this thing up again. Ooh, heavy. It's going to be right there. So it's only bolted down on that side, and that's where that bolt is. So I'm going to take a number eight socket there and go ahead and zip that guy on. They're going to be sitting on these plastic pieces. So let's just go ahead and flip it. Whew, heavy. Let's walk it that way. Now I'm sitting them back down this way. And I'm going to take out all these bolts here that hold them down.
making sure I got all the bolts. Let's go ahead and take this guy up. Oh my God, that was so easy. Okay, here we are. Now what we're gonna do is gonna flip this guy back over. This is kind of cool, I love it. So, so now, one last thing we gotta do. Going back to our 13 millimeter socket. 12 millimeter, I'm sorry. I keep on getting screwed up on 12 and 13. I'm gonna loosen those up again. And I'm just gonna loosen it up. I'm not gonna take them all the way up. So now that we have all that apart, let's go back to our number 22. Just kind of stick our screwdriver in between. Oh yeah, they're moving. There we go. There's my 22 right there. One more shot on this side. Boom. Okay. Okay, one more move. And we should be able to start moving these things out of the way. 22. Okay. We should be able to get this guy out now. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Get the thing off of it. There he's coming out. Okay. The determined cell here is, I hope you guys can see this good. So there he is right here. So that's how they're interconnected with each other. We will dig this thing apart just to kind of see what they use for smart car energy. But here we go. This is it. This is my number 22 and I'll do final test on it and we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. Sorry about this. You know, I, I already got the, the new battery here. It was uh, this one right here that's unmarked. Uh, I put it back in. I started putting this thing back in, together. Then I realized that I'm not recording this for you. So here we go. Um, let's watch this thing go back together. Okay, so there it is. It just made it back into the into the car. We're gonna go ahead and connect the, all the nuts and bolts here and get it all done. Where's my flashlight? The big one? There we go. That's it. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's what it looks like here. You get a couple of uh, connections. And we got to connect all this on this side. I'm going to come back over to this side just to kind of get a little recording. Let's see what it shows us. Going in through the window. So that's what it looks like here. Pretty simple thing it looks like. Well, that's where we're going to go. Okay, so we got the batteries back in. It looks like uh, no lights are showing up. Mm -mm. We're gonna go ahead and take it for a drive. Put it in reverse real quick, I wanna see. Reverse. Oh, okay, it's, it's fired up right now. Okay, go park it and we'll take it for a spin.